We're finally here. We're gonna go say hi to the dogs. You ready? Mm -hmm. Hey! Hey! Hey. Oh. <laughs> I had a question from a long, long time ago from Liz that I somehow missed. Liz, I'm very sorry. Her question is a three-part question and um, so first she just wants me to talk about what I do for a living and that is Instacart. You're delivering groceries to people. The reason I choose it over Uber and Lyft is because groceries just sit quietly in your car. They don't do anything crazy. People you cannot guarantee that. I like it because it's so flexible and for what I'm trying to do, um, flexibility is everything. There is no guaranteed payment. You get paid based on how many orders you get. What I love about it is that I can just pick a 12 hour chunk out of the day that I know I'm gonna be working on stuff anyways and I can just sit at home and work on, on whatever I need to work on. Whenever I do get called, I'll head out to the car and go deliver those groceries. So you can pick your hours literally the day before. You can pick up hour by hour. The only requirement is that those hours be between 7 a.m. and 10 p.m. And to cancel the hours, all you need to do is cancel them at least six hours in advance, which is much less than a regular employer would require. Sorry for the bad lighting, the sun is coming up and I I know all you can see is my mouth. This isn't my only thing that I do for money and I think as a standalone, it is kind of hard to make ends meet with Instacart. I've seen a lot of people do it though. A few things that I don't like about it, um, it's on an app on your phone. If you have bad, if your service is bad in a certain store, it's just gonna work very slowly. That's about all I can think about um, that you would need to know about Instacart. If you have more questions, put them in the comments and I will probably miss them and get them answered for you in another six weeks. Hopefully, hopefully that's not true. Her next question was, when you're running so much, do you still lift? The short answer is yes. The long answer, not as much as I do. Like right now I'm not running, so I'm able to go to the gym every single day, lift and get my strength going. At the height of my training cycle, I can be running anywhere from five to eight times a week, which leaves maybe two to three, sometimes even just one time going to the gym in a week, which in my opinion is not enough. And that's why I have these little off seasons that I work on strength in the gym because I know doing, doing uh, my uh, running training cycle, I'm gonna be running too much to be able to get to the gym. Short answer, yes, I still go to the gym but I don't go as much. The final question is, what is your favorite post-run food? Ah, I have so many post-run foods. After my 20-mile run, I went and got a $3 frozen pizza from Walmart, put it in the oven, and I ate the whole thing. That could be my very favorite post-run meal, if we're being honest here, if we're being honest here. Hopefully, that answers your question, Liz. For those of you out there that have questions, just put them in my comments. I'm gonna get better at answering them and checking them. I turned my notifications on now, so I should see them right as you comment them. And that is it. That's that's the end of my Q&A segment for today. All right, guys, kind of a weird format for today's vlog because it started yesterday and now we're continuing because all I did the rest of the day was work and I don't think that was very interesting for you guys to watch. So now we are finally on our way back to Fruta for the week. We're gonna stop and see my Auntie Feeny on the way who is probably one of the biggest, if not the biggest fan of these vlogs. <laughs> All right, this is Auntie Feeny, guys. Hi I was there, just talking everybody. about you on the drive up. <laughs> we 
are taking a stop in Frisco, Colorado. You guys have probably seen this like a million times. Sarah has. She hates this stop now. I don't hate it. I'm just saying there's a billion other stops on the way that are more scenic. <laughs> so she doesn't hate it. She just thinks there's a billion other stops that are more scenic than this one. Clearance stuff is always my favorite. Say hi to the dogs. Hey! Hey! 